Good morning guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm uh, riding uh, to West Oak Coffee Bar, which is in Denton. There's usually a bike meet up there. I think I've filmed a few things before that. Beautiful fall colors, uh, end of November here in uh, Texas. And uh, good to see all the trees turning red. It's been uh, all right. Yesterday it was raining like crazy. So today I guess uh, everybody will be out on their uh, motorcycles. Um, so I thought I'll just uh, take the back roads and head over to Denton and then uh, chill at the place a little bit and then come back. So uh, yeah, things have been going pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, still not uh, getting some time to do more uh, serious uh, off-road stuff and things like that but uh, I've been uh, practicing on the street so I'm uh, I can say that I'm pretty confident about uh, taking the curves on the street uh, like for example this thing uh, without the clutch I'm kind of uh, downshifting uh, one of my friends uh, told me about uh, how easy that is and I thought okay let me just try it out because I typically like to use the clutch everywhere but downshifting uh, just before the turn uh, I think uh, you know it can go easy on the clutch and then uh, you can downshift to like the uh, you know the heel and toe in the car I guess but uh, it's easier in an automatic you can just do boop 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 and it just flips down and you're ready in the right gear uh, did I tell you I also watched Formula One? So I saw Alonso. Man, he, Fernando Alonso, he's such a great driver. He's at the apex of every corner. He's in the right gear all the time. So that's my goal now. Try to trail brake and get into the right gear at the apex of the curve so that you don't need to worry about uh, you know upshifting or changing gears and you're right at the time where you want to accelerate you're in the right gear anyway that's a bit of a formula one uh, lesson here so uh, yeah that's been uh, what's going on and the tire scene uh, yeah I think still a little got, uh, got a little bit of life uh, left in my uh, adventure but I think I'm going to get the Raleigh's, the Motors Raleigh's tires for the back and there's a new uh, DV uh, dual venture tire for the front which can pair up with any of these uh, tires oh it's a little rain last night so it's a little wet on the road here so you gotta be a little careful I think it's gonna dry up pretty soon but uh, in the shade So that's what uh, it's, it has been going on. Uh, I might head out to Rocky Ridge, which is like the off-road park, uh, to practice some more skills. You know, I got I got an interesting thing figured out in off-road driving, which has given me a lot of confidence. Uh, uh, that is basically, you know, the key is to keep the bike always straight. So, like, bend your body as much as you can. People might laugh at you, but. Uh, that's what gives you most traction so I I figured that out in my last off-road ride and I'm going to practice that in um, you know uh, in Rocky Ridge another thing it does is uh, it's a lot easier on the body to move your body than to move the bike that takes a lot more effort and um, especially in the off-road so I found that I was barely getting tired doing that you know so that's that's the key because off-road is so tiring and I noticed that after some serious off-roading I was still you know relatively uh, less tired so uh, I think uh, so I'm kind of uh, pretty comfortable with where I am and my riding skills for now and it's just uh, looks like there are not uh, too many new skills to learn uh, at at my level as right now is just need to practice and I think I got the practice turned into muscle memory for the most part so that's uh, safe to say I'm um, enjoying the riding on the bike both off-road and on-road so uh, that's where we are 
Uh, I'll try to get some footage of uh, you know some of the roads I cover, but uh, you know it's probably the same old roads. But uh, yeah, I enjoy talking uh, to myself, I guess. So uh, I will, uh, you know, see you guys in a bit. Then. Beautiful town of Prosper crossing Preston Road. This used to be so different some time ago. <laughs> Beautiful new 7 Eleven with some fancy modern uh, uh, strappings. There used to be a house out here. They tore it down and they're building a subdivision here. And it's crazy. This is crazy. This used to be tree line. Now they're expanding this road. Ah. Whoa, this Godard School. I haven't seen this. This is new. <laughs> and this is the Prosper High School where my kids went to school. So, uh, beautiful. There used to be a mailbox here for this light farm subdivision and my daughter <laughs> took it <laughs> driving the car <laughs> one day. Beautiful tennis courts of Prosper. Fond memories of this place. <laughs> I'm going to build an overpass here, I think. So, construction everywhere. Diversion. Interesting. This crosses over to the tollway, and then I'll take the um, this tollway service road, hit 428, and that will take me straight to Denton. So that's the plan, good old Prosper. This is just to get around that uh, construction over the old pass. Prosper ISD High School Stadium. Never been to this one. Came uh, much later, I think. <laughs> I've been to the old stadium. get out in the morning and ride because there's absolutely nobody on the road especially uh, Sunday morning I guess uh, that's why it's it's gorgeous you know you just uh, have the road to yourself and then you don't worry about the traffic and uh, this is the beautiful uh, tollway service road the tollway is gonna come right up till here eventually and then probably go further up <laughs> right up to Oklahoma Here's the uh, 428 junction. So this will take me uh, straight up to Denton. Okay. Uh, uh, wait for this uh, Lexus uh, modified. I guess uh, people are all uh, modifying the Lexus to go off-roading because it's basically a Toyota 4Runner. So. Let's go on this 428. I switched to rain mode just so that uh, there's a minor uh, moisture on the road. It has to be safe. A 
I've been on this uh, 428 before once, I think, on a group ride. This part of 428, it's kind of weird. It just kind of goes north of 380 and then uh, comes down to Denton. Uh, I thought I'll take this road because 380 gets really, really crowded. And there's no fun riding on that road, maybe on the way back. So, uh, again, beautiful North Texas, uh, North Dallas. Uh, this is all going to get built out, I think. But uh, enjoy while we can. The cost of progress. This is how they redo the bridges around this area. Make it a one lane road. Good time to reflect and talk about this and that. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't do m too many recordings because I'm going on the same roads, but maybe um, I just make it like a, a blogging, chatting, so that I can keep talking about this and that. Uh, so all the new adventure bikes are coming along. Uh, people are liking the Aprilia, and uh, there's a Moto Guzzi coming too. And uh, people are liking uh, the mid-sized bikes because they think that uh, they can handle them well. But my deal is this. Uh, you improve your skill and you can handle this big bike as good as the small bike. Uh, I guess the key is uh, what do you want to do? You know, if you want to do trails and stuff, yeah, the GSA or the GS is a little on the heavier side. But for me, I think uh, I want to do public roads, forest roads, uh, fire roads, and stuff like that. So I think I can manage on a GSA, uh, especially if I have uh, you know one or two people with me. Uh, even if I'm alone, I just don't take too much risks. Uh, I like riding alone because you can set your own pace. You can just do what you want. <laughs> In a group, you, you're always, uh, you know, just going, scrambling from point A to point B. And, um, you know, people are just going faster and faster and faster. So, that's not my deal in uh, motorcycle riding. Anyway, that's a good place here to chill out. Oh, there's a gravel road here. Maybe I should just... Take the road here. Let's see what it is. Check this out. <sighs> this is what you can do. With a bike like this. <laughs> Gorgeous. Enjoy some peace and quiet. Okay, that was a nice detour there. Yeah, back on the road here. Yep, that was a, a good break there. And this is the one lane bridge they have right now, which they're trying to repair. It's gonna take some time, I guess. That's what you can do with an adventure bike, you know. Uh, if I had more time, I would have just wandered off in that road some more. And also, uh, because yesterday it rained, so the road is going to be, uh, you know, sticky mud. Otherwise, I would have just taken off on that road and seen uh, where that went. 
Uh, in Dallas, it's a pretty flat area, but if it was some other place, imagine you would get some, you know, fantastic views of, uh, you know, the whole area. So, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. It's adventure riding, you know, you get a lot of things you can do in this bike. Uh, Okay, we are That's the gold wing. <laughs> That's an interesting gold wing. Okay guys, I'll end the vlog right here. Uh, my battery uh, is going low on the helmet camera. I hope you guys enjoy this and I will talk to you guys uh, later. Thanks, bye.